Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a heat map in Excel. Now, a heat map is a great way to make a boring set of data like this look very interesting and easy to identify important numbers. So, we have a data set here where we have the years 2017 to 2025 and a bunch of states and the average temperature for each of those states in each of those years. So in order to put the heat map on, you're going to want to highlight all of the data points you want this to be applied to. Then you're going to want to go to the Home tab, come over to Conditional Formatting, click that, go down to Color Scales, and you have a variety of them to choose from. I think the most common one that you'll see is the red, yellow, green. So red for high numbers, yellow for in the middle, and green for lower numbers. So if you click that, it will apply the heat map. Now one thing to note is this isn't that good for comparing. This is good for identifying which states are super hot and which are more cold. But let's say we wanted to identify the temperature and how it ranges in one state over a span of years. Well then this isn't as effective. So if we hit Command Z, that will undo that, and we could instead do these individually. So for example, we could start with Colorado by highlighting all of the years. And again, we go Home, Conditional Formatting, Color Scales, and highlight the one we want. And this way, we can see how it ranged over the years. So it was pretty normal over this, these years. As we can see, 2022 was a lot higher average than normal, with 2023 being pretty low, 2024 being pretty high. And if we did this for each one of the states, that would give us a good idea of which years were harder. So as we can see, in for Connecticut, it also represents that 2022 was quite hot. So I've really quickly gone and done that for each of the individual states, so you can see how that would look. And that just shows how you can have different ways of analyzing data depending on how you apply your heat map. Anyway though, that's how you create a heat map. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.